And now, number 51. The 60s will be described as the decade in which football became the number one sport in America, in which the Packers were the one number one team, and Bart Starr was proudly the number one Packer. Bart Starr. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, President Nixon, for those kind words. Bart Starr has justifiably been lumped with the greatest quarterbacks of all time. He's the only guy that has won five world championships. And one of the main reasons that has not been understood was his big playability. People have forgotten about that because the Packers were grinded out, run the football teams, and Bart's image was firmly planted as the staid executioner of the Vince Lombardi run first offense. So Bart Starr would call a fourth and one play action pass and throw it for a touchdown in the most daring kind of play and people would simply forget it the next day because that was not his image. When he went with play action, very often it was for huge plays. And very often, a Packer game or even a Packer season would turn on a phenomenal execution of a fake of a play action by Bart Starr at a time when the team couldn't move the ball and the team would go on to win and then go on to win championships. Bart Starr played in 10 postseason games and won nine of them, including Super Bowls one and two. In both those world championship games, he was named the most valuable player. Deceptively daring, surprisingly strong-armed, Bart Starr was also always in command. And never more importantly than in the 1966 NFL title game in Dallas, where the Packers were playing for a berth in the first Super Bowl. One fires up the middle, pass is complete to Boyd Dollar for the touchdown. And Dollar was belted hard in the end zone by Mike Gector. Our most combative guy on offense was Jimmy Taylor. And Jimmy saw that. So then Jimmy starts looking for Gector, which could have very easily gotten him ejected. It was really one of the most meaningful parts of the game because we couldn't have afforded the personal file. We certainly couldn't have afforded to lose Jimmy Taylor. So the instant that Taylor starts looking for Gector or one of the other Cowboys, number 15 is right in Jimmy Taylor's face, guiding him all the way to the sideline. And when he gets to the sideline, you hear, out of way, Bart. Quarterback stance should be as comfortable as possible. Coach Lombardi would actually concede to him. And Bart doesn't like to talk about this, and he's uncomfortable even talking with me about it to this day. But he would stand up in front of the team, and he would say, wait a minute, coach. Don't be criticizing us about that, because that's not true. Let's get it right. Nobody else did that. I told him, I said, look, coach, I said, I can take all of the chewing you want to dish out. And I said, I understand your personality, and that's all well and good. What are you doing out there? Oh, God. Hey, get him out of there, will you? And I said, that doesn't bother me. I said, but what does bother me is the fact that you're telling the team one thing, that you're expecting certain things of your leaders, of your quarterbacks, and you expect me to go out there and lead them. And I said, I can't do that if you're going to chew me out in front of them. I said, now, if I've got a chewing out coming, fine, but do it in the privacy of this office where you apologize to me when you know you're wrong. I said, otherwise, don't ever expect me to go out there and be your leader. And he never, ever raised his voice to me again. Bart would make suggestions. And the most dramatic of all is one in the ice bowl when the Packers had driven the ball to the one yard line. The call came in to hand the ball to the fullback. Well, the fullback had slipped each of the previous two plays because of poor footing with the ice. Bart went to the sideline and said to Coach Lombardi, let's don't hand it to the fullback, let me run it in. And he said, Coach looked at me and said, 
fine. Let's do that and get the hell out of here. Here are the Packers. Third down, inches to go. 17 to 14, Cowboys out in front. Starr begins the count. Takes the snap. He's got the quarterback. Take it easy. He allowed Bart to think like that, and that's one example. That's a very dramatic example. But I think that sort of thing happened all the time with Bart Stark. And nobody knows that because that was not his image. The image got planted of him being a staid, robotic-type player. Not so.